I want them to come here. <laughs> carry on coming, carry on coming. <laughs> yes, the cub is on our side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super excited. Let me call Taxon because he was looking at them earlier on. Tax, where are you, Tax? No, I can't. I can't see the cub there. Oh, that's beautiful. I think. There we go. Come on, Shadow, carry on coming to us. Taxon, Taxon, Rally, Taxon. Uh, there's a little one going to mom. Awesome. <gasps> Yay. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. Now, she is definitely looking at something and she might be on the hunter perhaps taking the cub somewhere else and guys this was just like perfect timing as we suddenly came across the area where they were in so i'm hoping she's gonna carry on coming because she's still close to the fire break in the main road Ooh. leopards are gonna give me a heart attack one of these days hello girl taxon taxon come back Yeah, Tax, just an update. If you want to come in close to where you saw me, Shadow and the Mantuan, they've just crossed onto Juma. They're slowly heading east. East? North? Yeah. <laughs> north. Sorry, they're slowly heading north. Oh, the radio is not helping me. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Where are you going? Wonderful. Calling the cub? Yeah, you little one. It's no time to play on top of termite mounds. All right. Low range and off we go into the bush. Awesome. I wonder if perhaps she's taking the cub back to a kill because she seems quite decisive on where she's going. <gasps> and there's a quite a big elephant ahead of us. Whoopsie, all right. I'm not going to move just to see which direction they go. There's the elephant and the leopards are going pretty much straight towards the elephant. Oh my goodness. How brave of you. Little cub curious, you're going the wrong way. You're going towards the elephant. <laughs> Naughty little cub. All right, let me move. Jeffrey, you're wondering how old the cub is. Well, we estimate that it's about five months old. So it's still very, very young and small and depends on shadow for survival. I want to try and give them a bit of space just in case this elephant starts chasing them around. Well, it seems like the elephant's not particularly bothered and I don't want to lose sight of Shadow because it's quite thick around here. Okay, there she is in front of us and I'm sure she's calling the little one. Sorry, um, Alice, can you repeat the question from Kylie? Who's the cub's father? Um, not too sure. I would assume Tingana. Oh, there they are, both of them in front of us, just walking down there. Seems like they're circling around this elephant. Whew. Guys, you're going into some very horrible area. Oh, how exciting. It's good to see that shadows are around here. So we lost the Inkahumas, but we gained a leopard and a cub. I'm not too upset about that. All right. 
Oh. All right, I think we're gonna have to think about how we're gonna get onto the other side here, Seb. Let's see. Oh, the cub is still not moving. <laughs> so sweet. Okay, I can roughly see them, but I think it's gonna be easier if we go around just because it seems to be less thick around here. So hopefully we'll be able to to relocate them on the other side. Oh my god, it is a bit of a thick drainage line around here, so here's to some bundu bashing. Alright, not too bad here. Oh god. Now, where are you girls? Okay, I see a head roughly moving in this direction. It, it is very tricky and the only reason why I'm seeing it is because I'm so close to the ground. But they are slowly moving here so I think they're gonna come through this gap unless they go into that thicket in there. But if they do then we'll be able to... Have a look? Okay, I have lost them now. There they come, they're gonna come into that little gap. Shadow, you really are a very elusive cat, cat, aren't you? You see, she's very alert, and how amazing was that? She went so close to that elephant, yet she knew exactly where to go and how to avoid it and carried on, and very likely the elephant didn't even know that there were two leopards there. Not that a leopard could do any damage to such a big elephant. But however, it's always interesting to see how close they are to one another, or they can be, just like yesterday with the leopard and the nyala. You see, she was chuffing now, contact calling for the cub to hurry up and come closer to where she is. I can just see... Mm, the end of her tail, so let's just wait for the little cub to come around here because I'm sure it's gonna come through the same gap. Ah, oh, the cub is underneath those bushes there. You just. There we go. Just the tail, how amazing is that? The little cub has chosen a very tough spot. Right, we are going to carry on moving, trying to go around and negotiate around this very thick bush. As you can see, it's it's quite a um, problematic gory thicket, I want to call it. So let's see if perhaps we can have another view of them. Alright, while we fight these bushes around, let's go over to Taylor and see how <laughs> her flat cat is doing. <laughs> 